Well, last time we were out here, we found some fire ants we weren't quite looking for. But today we did find what we're looking for. We are out here scouting for a cereal leaf beetle. Now this is a pest that tends to localize in pockets in a region. And if you happen to be in one of those regions that's a hot spot this year, you may end up having hot spots on your farm as well. So here's what we've got. You can see these very tiny eggs. They are laid on the upper surface of the leaf. When they're first laid, they start out as yellow, and then they turn to orange, then to brown, and then to black. We're not as concerned with the eggs for two reasons. One is that they're often killed by rain, and the second is that insecticides are not nearly as effective on the eggs as they are on the larvae. You can see the larvae here. Uh, we're way more concerned with these. The larger that they get and the higher up on the plant they feed is when they start to really impact yield. And we know that at this stage in the game, what we're really concerned with is just protecting that flag leaf to grain fill. So what we do when we're scouting is we go into the center of the field, we find 10 random spots, and we take 10 tillers from each one of those spots. On each one of those 100 tillers, we count how many eggs there are and how many larvae there are. If we end up having more eggs than larvae, it's okay, we don't need to spray right now. We can come back and check again next week. The next time we come out, if we've got more larvae than eggs, and we've got 25 eggs plus larvae per 100 tillers, that's when we need to consider control options. If your field is above the threshold of 25 eggs plus larvae per 100 tillers, you might wanna consider watching the video in the link below. It's Dr. Reisig's virtual field day presentation, and it's on IPM strategies versus tank mixing control for cereal leaf beetle.